Hey guys, Mars Second here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we are going to jump in and do the Red Zone Golden Freezer stage, uh, but do the six time limit units mission. And um, when the stage first came out, I did the Movie Heroes mission plus the beating it within 10 turns. Um, and then I normally just do one video on the stage, um, especially when so much content came out all on that same day, right? But I've had a few people ask about the time limit stage, um, especially because. A lot of people won't have summoned for the Golden Week Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku or potentially just didn't pull him if he did drop a few summons while trying to save a decent amount of stones for the anniversary. So I quickly cleared it myself on the first day just to get the rewards and everything right to build up the stones ready to summon on the banners. Um, so I did use Goku. So I've just changed. I've got the team from the previous clear up and I've just changed the leader to the blue boys from the worldwide celebration so obviously these guys have been around on a few banners now since they released um, i know still not everybody's necessarily going to have them if you don't have them really your only choice for a lead if you want to run this exact team right and run as many time limit characters as you want is going to be the uh, tech lr gogeta from tanabata a few years ago like the tech goku and vegeta that fuse into super gogeta um, but they're pretty outdated at this point I mean, at least the Golden Freezer, the main phase is AGL, so they have type advantage. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if his super counts as unarmed. He does fly at you and punch you, so maybe you could even get the Gogeta super nullification. But he's not an ideal unit to run in this scenario, right? So if you've got the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, just run him as a leader. If you don't, I would say run the Blue Boys from the Worldwide Celebration. Um, but you can still use the Super Saiyan 3 Goku friend because one of his 170 leads is Accelerated Battle, which the Blue Boys are on. So this team build still works. Everybody obviously on the team. The only one who's not getting like the full leader skill from the Blue Boys is the physical uh, Gotenks. Physical Gotenks obviously just gets the 150 because these guys do give a leader skill to all super class units. But then that Gotenks is getting the 200% lead from the friend Goku. So it does even out fairly nicely. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in. Uh, we've got the Wii site here in case we need it, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we've got a decent enough looking starting rotation. Um, now, the biggest problem we're going to have with this run, is obviously the biggest problem with using the Blue Boys over using Goku, is of course their biggest weakness is if we get to the point where their intro buff runs out, and we haven't lost enough HP to be able to fuse, then things are going to go badly for us. So... We've got to try and, well, I mean, I guess I say try and make sure. There's not really much of a way we can make sure that that happens. But we've ideally just got to hope that we can take enough damage um, during these first few phases so that we do get the ability to fuse with them. Because once we do and we get AGL Vegito Blue out, then we shouldn't have too much trouble, hopefully. But it's when we get stuck with these guys and they can't fuse and their guard runs out like, AGL Golden Freezer can hit pretty hard. Um, so, these guys are going to be a massive liability if we get all the way to that point and we're not able to fuse with them, right? So, we've got to hope that we are going to be able to do that. Obviously, Kefla is going to be very good here. Her starting off on the first turn uh, means we're going to get, hopefully, a lot of stacks. And then, of course, we get one super because we couldn't get the six orbs. Um, but getting, getting as many supers for her... Is obviously going to be really beneficial so we can do a lot of damage later because you have to remember the big thing about the golden freezer stage is once we have defeated agl golden freezer then we have the countdown stage at the end right? where we have two turns to beat him before he does the massive like super that does like eight million damage um now obviously a unit could dodge it or counter it or negate it or whatever um but you ideally just want to be able to kill him before you have to take that super attack right so We'll see how we get on. Uh, we'll go for the classic float off for Geo here straight away so that we can hopefully get the... Um, well, I say hopefully, but so he comes back in four turns and then we just get the transformation straight away and then he can uh, get a bunch of dodges in for us. Um, we'll do this for you and then you should hopefully be able to take him out. Because but... Vegito gets a bunch of extra key in slot three as well anyway. Goku being on the second turn, remember he starts off with a pretty high amount of damage reduction that slowly starts to wear off, but that's the great thing about being able to use a Goku friend, is obviously you can bring a rainbow friend if you can find one. So even in slot one, where he's getting defensive buffs instead of offensive buffs, 
He still gets a pretty good attack stat. He has that built-in chance to crit. He can stun, which I think you can stun. You can stun the minions. We just stunned to go by, so the sim will come up. But you can also stun the int freezer. So that can definitely be beneficial. Um, wow, to go with the dodge. Okay. <laughs> um, we got the stun, and so Vegito is going to finish him off here. <laughs> so we beat the minions phase, and then we can go on to the int freezer. And now this is the thing, right? We haven't really, t we haven't taken any damage yet, so we've got to be uh, mindful of uh, being able to get this Vegito fusion. But we'll see what we can do. We've got Kefla and Gotenks both transforming. Um, again, I mean, Gotenks doesn't have any like stacking or any like full build up, so we should keep um, keep Kefla on rotation, really. Although can't really get key for her here, so maybe we do this. Or well, not key, but the orbs. Doesn't matter about the amount of key; it's the number of orbs, right? Which is awkward. Um, Go Tanks does have the better dodge chance without a restriction of picking up orbs, so. Typical. I was about to say, right, so they ate those normals for double digits, which is fine. Um, I was going to say, I bet if he super attacks them, that'll be the attack they dodge. Whereas, ideally, because they still have their guard, they wouldn't have taken a lot of damage if they didn't dodge that super. But they might have taken a little chunk so that that could get us towards the uh, Vegito fusion. But I guess not. And now we get the stun as well. So, yeah, this is going to be tricky because now that means he's stunned for the next turn as well. Um... And these guys, the next time they come back, they will have lost their intro buff. So, realistically, we have to hope that the next time they're on rotation, we get a slot where there's no attacks, or like one normal or something, because then they'll take quite a decent bit of damage from that, but we'll actually be able to get like a decent heal. So, I mean, we can blitz through this phase, because if we do this, we get the 11 key for you. He's stunned, so it's not like he's going to do a lot, of, he can do any damage to us here. And then Goku being in slot 2 or 3 means he gets additional attacks as well as additional attack power. So this guy's just going to get absolutely cooked here. The unfortunate thing is then, of course, that means we are now on uh, the AGL Golden Freezer phase already. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks going off with the big damage there. You love to see that. Um, okay, so at least we have Tech Vegito Blue, who has a 100% chance to dodge on this turn. So, can we get, like, is there, like, one normal in the middle or something? Two, three, God. Yeah, see, them losing their buff is really bad. How am I going to... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I can even do here now. Three attacks is just too many, and if I do this... It means we don't have a slot one unit for the next time this rotation comes around. Because if I do this, they're going to get hit in slot three. And then take like... They, may, they might even take like 300k from a normal. Um, which is fine. right? Because as long as they don't get supered. Which now he's super tech for Geo Blue. Which is the ideal um, scenario for us here. Um, they're going to take a lot of damage from this normal attack. I guess we could then just like wheeze up on the next turn. I could have just used the Whis on this turn, I suppose, really. Because now that I think about it, like, because this mission is really difficult, right? If you, if you have your own Super Sentry Angel Goku, I did it with no items, right? Because having a Goku on both rotations is very, very powerful. Um, but if you're having to resort to using the Blue Duo or even Tech Gogeta to get this mission done, then I feel like you just use items, right? <laughs> There's no point trying to no item it and making it considerably more difficult for yourself. So, realistically, I probably should have just left the blue boys in slot two and then thrown up the Whis, but I guess we will have to uh, just play it by ear from here. So, I mean, I guess the good thing is they're going to take big damage from this attack in slot three now, and then if we Whis on the next turn, we should be able to get through the next two turns, and then they'll be back again, and then we can fuse. At least that's the... That's hopefully how this is going to play out. <laughs> But I guess we will see. Um, yeah, 346k. Sheesh. All right, well. Let's see then. We got Kefla. Okay, so we could do... Hmm. 
if we put Gotenks in the middle, he has to get his 18 key super, but that's not the end of the world because... Okay, we'll do this. we we'll use Goku's active skill. Because um, Goku's active skill, of course, gives him his uh, post super defense, which as we get the few turns in, he's losing his start of turn damage reduction. He's built up damage reduction by super attacking earlier in the turns. But obviously we want to have uh, as much defensive capability here as possible. And then I think what we do is we just do this. We throw out the Whis, and then we can grab... Are we going to be able to get six orbs for Kefla here? Um, I don't think so. Depends on that. No, that rainbow orb isn't going to fall where I want it to, is it? Oh, it did fall where I wanted it to. Okay. Um... And do I double Whis is the question. Because that pretty much guarantees that we get through to the next turn. Or at least get through to the turn with the... You know, maybe I will do that. Seems a bit risky, but with the damage we can do, I think we should just do that. It pretty much confirms. Because Kefla or Tech Gotenks, I don't know how much they would take from a super. Tech... Uh, sorry, STR Kefla with the type disadvantage. I think even with just a single Whis active, I think she probably still dies to a super from Golden Freezer. So, it's probably worth, obviously now, because we decided to double Whis, I should have put Tech Gotenks in slot 1. Um, because then, of course, that would give Goku more attack power and an extra super. Fortunately, with the friend being Rainbow, he's still got three super attacks off here, so he's still done a very decent amount of damage. But, he have done a lot more damage if he was in slot 1. Um, but that's fine. Yes, he hasn't supered Goku, who is basically invincible on this turn. Because he has over 100% damage reduction. Um... Is he going to super Gotenks? Okay, good. I was going to say, if he still supers Kefla, that would be infuriating. But... Okay, we've got double Whis. We've got 80% damage reduction. So, yeah, okay. Because we've got type advantage. I mean, his, his super attack does well over a million in this phase. But the double Whis, of course, lasts for two turns. So... I guess that's just the way around it, right? If, you, if the blue boys don't fuse, out come the items. And then uh, Kefla can do a decent bit of damage here. In fact, we're going to end up with um, Vegito Blue, I guess, on the countdown phase, which is definitely not the worst thing. Kefla, I guess the only unfortunate thing is Kefla getting floated here. Uh, yeah, she won't be back for the... Um, Actually, no, because we have to kill this phase on the next turn. So, actually, she'll be back on the second and final turn of the countdown for that. Um... Hmm. we just got a big heal. That's not great. Um... Okay, so I think what we do then is... I think we just do this to kill Freezer, even though we've got the Whis active, which essentially means the Whis turn is basically wasted. But nobody gets any build-up from doing any extra attacks here, so might as well just do this. Because we can do it because his HP is so low, so we wouldn't be able to do it in the next phase anyway. Um, so we do that, get the KO screen. Haven't seen that for a while. Good old Tech Vegito Blue KO screen. Um, and now we can do this, right? So we don't have... Um, we keep Goku in slot 2 so he can do damage. These guys aren't even going to take a hit. We ended up not being able to fuse with them at all anyway. Um, but I guess it is what it is. Um, am I going to be able to get... I'm not going to be able to get 2 key with Gotenks, am I? Oh, I can. Whew. Yeah, that worked out nicely. Okay. Get 2 key with Gotenks because the 11 key super obviously is the hardest hitting of the two. Goku in slot 2 so he gets the extra attack and extra super. He's got the Super Saiyan 3 links up with Gotenks as well now, like limit breaking form. Um, so he should be doing a decent bit of damage. The Blue Boys, of course, not doing a lot. <laughs> I mean, really, they, they are the worst unit on this team, the worst unit for this run. It's so unfortunate how things turned out for them, because when they're actually good, they can be really good, right? Like, if you get the fusion straight away, Vegito Blue has the attempt potential to, like, pop off. Um, having the active skill turn for Vegito where you get the 100% chance to dodge. Like, all of that stuff can be really, really good. Um, and then when they don't fuse, they're just a massive liability, right? So, pretty unfortunate, but Rainbow Goku, look at this, 12.8 on this one. Um, so, if we get the crit here, this is huge damage. No crit, still decent damage. 
We've taken off half of his health, and we still got Tech Gotenks doing a 22 million attack stat here as well. So I think, oh, look at that, the additional. I mean, that seals the deal. Like, there's no way we don't kill him on the next turn now. So we had to use the items basically just to make up for the uh, blue boys being terrible. But I guess the other good thing as well is we can go ahead and pop the transformation for Int Gotenks. So now he's got his Super Saiyan 3 transformation. And then we just go ahead and do this. And then that's going to be GG for Golden Freezer. Not a lot of orbs for Kefla, but that's fine. There's literally zero chance that Gotenks doesn't kill Freezer here. <laughs> 13 mil, he has the chances to do additionals as it is anyway, and then Tech Vegito Blue is going to attack like five times potentially in slot two. So there you go, that is Golden Freezer defeated. I mean, it would be possible to get the no items run with this exact team build to do this mission, but realistically, it just depends on do you get to fuse the blue boys into Vegito Blue on turn five. And if you don't, then kind of got to bust out the items or hope you get a slot where like if there were no attacks in slot two, then obviously we could just put them on slot two, in slot two, keep them on rotation, hope that we lost enough HP ready for the next time they come around. But yeah, as I say, if you have your own Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, this is the team that I use, but just with him as the leader. Um, and then obviously if you have to use Tech Gogeta, I mean, really the Blue Boys didn't contribute a lot to the actual event. Like It's not like they did a ton of damage. So if you have to use uh, Tech LR Gogeta as the leader, um, as long as you've got the items, we didn't even use a support memory, which obviously you could use as well. So you definitely could get it done that way. But let me know how you guys got on with the time limit mission. What team build did you use? Whether you used items or not, just let us know what team you used down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out all the links down below and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.